This is the Vans Old School Pro Skate Edition, and it might just solve all of my problems that I've been experiencing when wearing my classic Vans Old Schools. So my absolute favorite pair of sneakers of all time has got to be the Vans Old School. But in the past two years, I haven't really been wearing my Vans Old Schools that much anymore. Most of my errands that I run, my grocery shopping, going to the gym, going to pick up medication or whatever from CVS, all of that happens on foot with a backpack on. So it's very typical of me to walk two miles in an evening just to run a few errands. Now, when I was driving everywhere, I used to wear these shoes all the time. But now that I'm walking everywhere, I'm really starting to see that there are a lot of limitations when it comes to comfort. These are only good for about a mile walking maybe two if you're pushing it but if you start to wear these a couple of days in a row they really do start to take a toll on your feet and it just takes a month or two to get these fully broken in but at that point what little support and cushioning they have is totally gone and it really feels like you're just walking in glorified socks walking barefoot Enter the Vans Old School Skate Edition, which may just solve all of my issues with the classic Vans Old Schools. Now, I already tried the older version of these. They used to call them the Vans Pro line, so they would be the Old School Pro, the Authentic Pro. Now they rebranded them as the Skate Edition. My issue with the Vans Old School Pro or any of the Pro lines is that my feet would just sweat like crazy. I remember one time I was driving in my car and it was probably like late summer, early fall. The temperature was around 70 degrees. And just after 10 minutes of sitting down, it felt like my feet were in fuzzy winter slippers. That's how bad the ventilation was in them. So when I got these, I was super skeptical that my feet would still overheat. For some reason, my feet are very, very sensitive to the temperatures. I get hot feet in the summer and cold feet in the winter. So I really have to be careful with what type of shoes I wear. And this lack of ventilation in the pro model that they used to make is the reason why I just gave up on them and still went with the classic model. But I'm happy to report that after wearing these for just a few weeks in some pretty hot temperatures here in the Northeast, my feet don't overheat at all. Now maybe they get a little bit hotter than if I was just wearing the classics, but honestly the Vans classic old school doesn't breathe very well either. The first day when I got these shoes, I wore them around the house. I have one, the classic on one foot and the skate version on the other foot. And I was trying to see which one is my left foot with has the skate version is my left foot sweating more than my right foot and it maybe was sweating a little bit more but it was very hard to tell the difference unless i was really zeroing in on it now there are three main reasons why i got these shoes the first reason pretty obvious i wanted better comfort while the classic vans are very comfortable for wearing walking for a mile or two maybe wearing them for the gym just for an hour they still do lack a lot of that comfort and support especially if you're living inner city and doing all of your grocery shopping and errands on foot like i mentioned i was at the beginning of this video so i just wanted to have a shoe that's as cool looking as this but has a lot more comfort meaning that i can wear them more often i don't have to worry about what well, i want to wear my cool vans old schools but i'm going to be walking five miles today so i have to wear something like an adidas sneaker which is not as stylish i was just tired of either having to pick a shoe that looks absolutely awesome and is super stylish but hurts my feet for an all-day walk or a shoe that's a lot less stylish but i can walk forever 10 miles plus Reason number two, I'm seriously looking to pare down the items in my wardrobe and just pare down the material items, the amount of material items that I currently own. Now, for example, if I go to my mom's house out in Long Island, I usually take my bike on the train and I wear something like this because this is an awesome cycling shoe with flat pedals. But one time I went there and I actually only had these shoes. I didn't have any other shoes. My feet did start to hurt. We were there for about four or five days so what i always had to do was take one stylish pair for cycling but i also had to take a pair like this which is my comfortable walking shoe and by the way i really enjoyed this shoe as well but i always found that i could never just rely on this shoe because it hurts me and if i rely on this shoe while this shoe is cool sometimes i'm not in the mood to actually wear something like this i want to wear something more classic so what the skate version of the old school is going to do is it's going to allow me to instead of bringing two shoes when I'm traveling, I can bring one shoe. And that just means that maybe I can get rid of some of the old pairs of Adidas Ultra Boost, some of my old pairs of even my Cole Haan original brand. I have a lot of shoes just for comfort
comfort reasons and just because I walk so often, what this shoe is gonna allow me to do is get rid of two or three of my comfort stylish shoes or just my comfort shoes, which in the end means I'm gonna have less shoes, less things to look after, less things to clean. Life will be overall simpler. And the third reason is I just wanna wear my Vans a lot more often, particularly my Vans old schools. Like I mentioned, the Vans old school is my favorite sneaker of all time. For me, it's the GOAT sneaker. When I'm wearing my Vans old schools, I never feel like my style is lacking. I'm always very satisfied with wearing them. Now, of course, if I wanna wear dress shoes or dress boots or casual shoes, that's a different purpose. This is more of like a very stylish casual shoe and it's a nice way to spruce up an actual super casual outfit. It's gonna look a lot better than a pair of Adidas, New Balance, any type of comfort shoe. And when I'm wearing this shoe, I never feel like I need to go out and get a pair of leather sneakers, a pair of all white sneakers. I never feel like I need anything else as far as the sneakers go. This checks all the boxes for me. So I'm super psyched on this shoe. I'm psyched that my feet don't overheat in them. I'm psyched that it's so comfortable. The other day it was very hot here in Queens and I ended up walking seven miles. I filmed the video, these shoes, absolutely great. So what I'm gonna do, or what this is going to allow me to do is I can get rid of my classic bands old schools. I have them in navy and I have them in black. So I can get rid of two of these, right? I'm already paring down. And as my Adidas Ultra Boost starts to wear away, I don't have to replace them as much since I just have these and these can stand in. And the next time I go to my mom's in Long Island, when I take my bike on the train, this is going to allow me to just bring one pair of shoes and this one pair of shoes is going to be great for cycling. It's gonna look awesome as far as casual sneakers go. And I'm gonna be able to walk five or more, maybe even 10 miles. These shoes are very comfortable with that removable insole. So this shoe does a lot for me and I'm super psyched on it. So if you're into the Vans old school or the Vans authentic or the Vans slip-ons, I can highly recommend the Vans skate edition. They're, remember, they used to be called the pro version, but these are the skate version. Super comfortable, super durable. Your feet aren't going to overheat. And overall, you can make do with less things. Your super stylish Vans shoe is going to be an awesome walking shoe as well. So this shoe is pretty awesome for me. And if you like wearing Vans because of their stylish aesthetic, this shoe is going to be pretty awesome for you too. And I can highly recommend them. Thanks for watching.